We're heading back to Alaska, baby. One of my favorite places we've ever been. Alaska steelheading. It's just one of those spots that gets in your blood. These fish live their life in the ocean and then make their way back up to spawn. This is a giant float. Uh, even experienced guys that have been on Steelhead Rivers a lot say, you know, this is a long float, 14 miles. It takes all day, even if you just float. So by us stopping quite a few times and back trolling these plugs, we've got to manage our time and we've got to really dissect this water. Then we spot a few more fish and there was a great spot on the left side of the river that just, it looked super fishy, right? It had the water flow that we were looking for, those factors that we were finding. There he is right there. Did we just catch one in the exact same spot? Yeah. Dude, we did. that was nuts. Jared called it out, caught him in the exact same spot. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, steelheader creatures of habit. They like to uh, lay in the same spots and, uh, you know, right. generally when one steelhead pulls into a spot and you catch one there, more than likely the next day or even later on that day, you're going to catch another one in the same spot. I don't know if you saw this thing jump, but it's a big fish. This is Jared's baby. If there's any place that Jared knows, this is it. So he's on the sticks and he's running the show. I'm casting where he tells me to. We're working the holes. We're going around. We're doing this. And everything's working like just like clockwork. Yes! Jay Rat! Oh my god, dude. What a beautiful fish. Look at that plug pop right out. Oh, dear lord. Oh! Yay, yeah, baby! Cakes! Yeah, baby! Look at that fish, huh? And you can see the red stripe. This fish has been in here a little while, and you can also see this beautiful, uh, you can see it's a buck. You see the long kipe it has right here, and also how the jawline comes down behind the eye. That's how you know it's a buck. I've been fishing this whole time, but he stops us, grabs a rod, and smokes a fish right off the bat. Look at that. Dude, I bet you guys are going to stop. Oh, uh, stop? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, dude, that's a huge fish. I'm drop anchor. No, it's all right, dude, I got it. Bro, uh, we drop that pick about I'm trying, dude. When I say giant, bro, I'm talking 16, 18 pounder. Look at that. Look at him, Dennis. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Bro. 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 This is not gonna fit in that net. Okay, we're gonna have to try. This will be by far a big fish of the trip. We may be able to just get him in the net right here before he knows it, dude. Step back, dude. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. He went in that log. Look at, can you see him right there? <laughs> Dude, this thing is gonna go berserk here in a minute. Maglip science, like we were just talking, right? Like, you know, like we were just talking about this fish right here, this guy. You know, what we did. Thank you, fish. Uh, you know, you, you can't beat that. That's exactly what we were looking for. I'm gonna get this fish back in the water because he gave us a nice fight. We want more of him. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Yes! That's a golden goose egg right there, baby. That made the trip. That fish solid 14, 15 pounds. That's oh, that thing was huge. And that paid off. That was so cool. My blood is freaking boiling. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> that fish is so huge. Dude, that was and a tank. The, right before it, a fish ate it, yep. and I don't know if it's the same one or not, but it I got buried. He says, this is the fishiest water we fished, but not being in the alders. 
and the words did not come out of his mouth and that thing got buried. Whether it's the same fish, we don't know. We left it there for another five minutes and he ate it. Wow. Wow, dude. Dude. I am pumped, bro. My blood is boiling. <laughs> and the thing is, we tricked it because he didn't really know he was hooked. And I've done that a few times with big fish. They don't really realize they're hooked. And so he was just kind of chilling, doing his thing. And that's why I said, when I lift him, you got to get him because if not, he would have went. <laughs> And he didn't, dude. We got him. We just wanted the photo, bro, yeah. and let him go. So yeah, he's still we didn't fresh. we didn't wear the fish out. You know, we didn't wear him out. We didn't hurt him at all, man. He was in and out and gone and did our thing and we got our photo and brother. That is awesome. <gasps> yeah. You, you take this trip with so many expectations. You know, expectations of not necessarily where you're gonna stay or who you're gonna be with, but the fish you're gonna catch. And this trip is just something I will never forget. And I will tell everyone about it. Um, till the day I die. This is one of those stories that'll tell, that stay with me till the day I die. I hope that everyone out there enjoys everything that we brought to them as much as we enjoyed doing it for you.